All right, welcome back to another day of Gold Point Six. Today we're going to be working on some more uh, complicated problems where the denominator joins the same. So we're going to take uh, take our two skills that we learned yesterday and uh, combine them into one skill today. All right, here we go. So different denominators. All right, we're going to first find the LCD. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this out. Uh, so we have 2 times 2 times 2 times x times x, and then 2 times 2 times 3 times x times x times x. So I have a 2, another 2, and a pair of x's. So that's 2 times 2 is 4 times x times x is 4x squared in common. And what's left over is 2, 3, and an x, so that's 6x. So altogether that is... 24x to the third. That's going to be our LCD. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take, this is where it gets a little messy, you're going to take your first fraction and figure out what do you need to multiply by to get the denominator to 24x cubed. That would be 3x. I need to multiply by 3x, so that leaves me at 24x to the third. So you're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 3x over, th uh, 3x over 3x, so that's 27x. That's your first fraction. You're going to do the same thing now with the second fraction, 5 over 12x cubed. You're going to multiply it by something to end up with 24x cubed on the bottom. So you need to multiply that one by 2. So 2 over 2. So this will be 10 over 24x to the third. And then what you're just going to do is you're just going to add them. They're the same denominators now. So you have 27x plus 10 divided by 24x to the third. And that is how you do this process. As you can see, it's kind of a messy process. All right, so 3x factors into 3 times x. x plus 2 is, is just x plus 2. So your LCD is actually going to be everything, 3x times x plus 2. Um, because you have 3 times x and you have x plus 2. So nothing is, is common there. So let's start with our first fraction, 10 over 3x. And we're going to multiply this by something to end up with 3x over x minus 2. Um, or x plus 2. Okay, so I'm missing the x plus 2 there, so we're just going to do an x plus 2, and we're going to do an x plus 2. So on the top, I'm going to actually distribute and get 10x plus 20, and on the bottom, I want to leave it in factor form. And then we're going to do 7x over x plus 2 now. We're going to convert that so it has the GC, uh, or the LCD. And so this one is missing a 3x, so I'm going to multiply by 3x over 3x. And so that'll be 21x squared on the top. And then if we subtract, we're going to subtract these. So we have, uh, I have 10x plus 20 minus 21x squared. So I'm going to do the negative 21x squared part first. And then I'm going to do 10x plus 20. And this is all over 3x times x plus 2. So as you can see, these are, these are complicated problems. These are a little more difficult. Um, here's another one. Uh, I'm going to put this into factored form, x plus 5, x minus 2, as you can see factoring coming up again. And then we have x plus 4, x minus 2 on the bottom there. So they share the x minus 2s, so my LCD is going to be x minus 2, and then we have an x plus 5 and an x plus 4. Alright, so let's convert our fractions, x plus 4 over... Uh, x plus 5 times x minus 2, leave it in factor form on the bottom, it's going to make it easier, times something equals um, x minus 2, x plus 5, x plus 4. This is complicated math, isn't it? Okay, so we're missing the x plus 4, so I'm going to multiply by x plus 4 on the top. And I have a binomial times a binomial, x plus 4 times x plus 4, that's going to give me x squared plus, if I use FOIL, 8x plus 16. And then on the bottom, we're going to do the second fraction, x minus 1 over x squared plus 2x minus 8. By the way, this is probably as complicated as they're going to get. Um, so we want it to look like, we want the, the denominator to look like this when we're done. Um, and so we're missing, oh, I should have wrote that in factored form. I'm going to erase this here. x plus 4, I'm x minus 2. Okay, so I'm missing the x plus 5 from this one, so I'm going to multiply by x plus 5 over x plus 5. 
and that gives me x squared uh, plus 4x minus 5. If I use FOIL, you can also use the box. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract these two. So I'm going to put a minus sign here. And this minus sign has to go to all of these terms. So it's really going to be take away x squared, take away 4x, add the 5. So the x squared minus x squared is 0. Those are gone. 8x minus 4x is 4x. 16 plus 5 is 21. And then all over x minus 2, x plus 5, x plus 4. And as I mentioned, this is going to be your most complicated type of problem right there. I have three more sample problems that I'm going to do for you guys, just because as you can see, these are kind of tricky. Uh, 2x, 2 times x, and then 5 times x times x times x. And then you do these problems. You're like, oh, this is a nice one here. So you have 10. Well, they have an x in common. So 10, and then 1x, and then three more x's. So we have 10x to the fourth. OK, so that's my LCD. So I'm going to convert two over, 3 over 2x. And then we're going to multiply by something to get to 10x to the fourth on the bottom. OK, so that would be 5x to the third. And so that'd be 15x to the third for that fraction there. And then let's do 7 over, I'm kind of getting all over the place here, 5x to the fourth. We need to multiply that by something to end up with 10x to the fourth on the bottom. So that would be 2. So that'd be 14 over 10x to the fourth. So if I add those two together, I end up with 15x to the third plus 14 over 10x to the fourth. Okay, this one here, let's see if I can, y over y plus, I'm sure this be the page, y over y plus 1, and then 3 over y plus 2. Okay. Okay, so the LCD for this one is going to be uh, y plus 1, y plus 2, because neither of those factor. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start by converting this fraction first. We want the denominator to look like this. And so I need to multiply this by y plus 2 over y plus 2. And so that's going to be y squared plus 2y. Then the other fraction, 3 over y plus 2, again, we want the denominator to look like this. We need, we're missing the y plus 1, so we're going to multiply by y plus 1 over y plus 1. And in case you didn't realize, we're multiplying by 1. y plus 1 divided by y plus 1 is just 1. So that's what allows us to do that. Okay, so let's add these two up now. So we have y squared. We have a 2y plus a 3y. That's 5y in the numerator. And then we have plus 3. And then that's over y plus 1, y plus 2. And there you go. So as you can see, some of these are a little quicker than that, that other one that I did. Uh, like this one right here. This is going to be another a, a longer one. Uh, so I'm going to factor the new, uh, denominator. Uh, z plus 4, z minus 2. And the other one is z minus 2, z plus 2. That is a difference of squares. So the LCD, they share the z minus 2. So we have z minus 2, and then I have z plus 4, and then I have a z plus 2. So that's my LCD there. OK, so I'm going to convert the first one. Uh, 2z minus 1 over uh, z plus 4, z minus 2. And then I'm going to want it equal, I'm just going to put LCD. This is the LCD right here. So and rather than write that out three times. So I'm missing the Z plus 2. So I'm going to multiply by Z plus 2 over Z plus 2 in order to get to that LCD. And so if I multiply, should have used X here. Uh, multiply those two binomials on the top. And I'm going to have 2Z squared. Uh, I'm use FOIL, so that'd be 4z minus z, that's 3z, and then minus 2. And again, you can use the box there if you'd like. And then z plus 1, 
by the way, again, this is the most complicated type of problem you guys are going to see. Z minus 2, Z plus 2 times something equals something over the LCD. This one's missing the Z plus 4, so I'm going to multiply by Z plus 4 over Z plus 4. And that's going to give me Z squared uh, plus 4Z plus 1Z, that's 5Z uh, plus 4. All right, and we're subtracting here, so I'm going to put a minus sign there. So again, that's going to change that into negative Z squared, negative 5Z, and negative 4. So I have 2z squared minus z squared, that's z squared. I have 3z minus 5z, that's negative 2z. And I have negative 2 minus 4, that's negative 6. All over, I'm going to write my LCD now, z minus 2z uh, plus 4 and z plus 2. There you go. Very complex problem. That's what you do now. All right. That's what I got for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate the long lesson. Hopefully you guys like this.